What does it take to get a giant man baby to finally stop crying? Well, honestly, I really don't know the answer to that. Is it money, fame, notoriety, fortune? No, it definitely can't be either of those things because KSI has already got all of that and yet he is still crying the last time I checked. Would you believe it? At first he was crying about Dan TDM and the feedback from Lunchly. You, Dan TDM. Then he started crying about the internet not liking his song and memeing it like no song has ever been memed before. You know, the funny thing about music is if you put out something genuinely good, people People tend to like it. I know. What a crazy hypothesis for me to be drawing. I mean, what grounds do I have to stand on to make such a preposterous claim, right? Just bear with me for a moment. If you thought that this was an absolute mind bender, wait till you hear this one. If you put out something that's not very good, people tend to not like it. Whoa! Whoa! Crazy! I know, I know, I know. It's wild. It, it's truly, truly wild. I'm kidding, obviously. Most people over the age of conception already know this. But because of the endless supply of copium at KSI's disposal, he just can't accept the truth for what it is. Nobody likes you or your turbo ass butt cheeks Disney XD intro song. First off, how are you, man? Are you, you doing okay? You're getting bullied on the internet. Yeah, right? I'm, I'm I'm great, yeah, fantastic, isn't it? Look, dude, look at it like this. You're going crazy on the internet right now because of the song, but hey, uh -huh. it's growing on people. It's growing. It's like, it's. I'm not even joking. At first, I thought it was. What do you mean? What do you mean? It's growing on people. It's a good song. It's always been a good song. So I don't understand what you mean by it's growing on people. Well, ah, oh, oh, man, God, that's some good copium. Oh, yeah, that's some good shit. All right, guys, so right off rip here, KSI is, of course, coping. So Aiden Ross tells him, hey, the song is growing on people instead of being humble about it and being like, yeah, that's good. You know, I'm glad to hear that. He's like, no, what do you mean it's growing on people? It was already good to begin with. Why does it got to grow? My song is a banger. He literally says that. Like, I get the whole idea that you think that people don't like it purely because they don't like you and there's absolutely nothing wrong with the song. Now, my opinion about this is slightly different than most other people because I definitely do think that there are some thing is wrong with the song at least as far as music goes in the modern era but then i guarantee you as well that there are probably some people that truly are hating on it because they don't like you but there's also a lot of people that legitimately just don't like it because it's just not that great of a song if you're going to be somebody that is globally disliked and you put something out and it's not absolutely amazing then yeah you're gonna get a lot of hate for it people are gonna be like god this is garbage they're gonna try to make you feel as crappy as possible because you're so susceptible to other people's cri criticism. Um, I'll be real, bro. Is the song something I'm gonna play in my car? No, but it's a meme song, and I like the song for the meme purposes, and it's good. But it's not meant to be a meme song. You know well, it's what? a meme no, no, song. No, you know no, it's it. not a meme song, though. It's not what you're on about. It's not Man, a meme song. But you know it's a meme song. KSI, you make good songs. You That Holiday song is my favorite song you've ever wrote. And it's, done. Yeah, but if I released Holiday now, it would have turned into a meme song. No, I like you know, that song. Everyone would be like, ah, oh, this no. Disney, ah. No. This it's, stupid, ah. No, but that's a cringe, good. Cringe, ah. That's a good song. But this song that you made, it has a meme built up to it. You got to just go with the wave, bro. Don't what fight do it. What do you mean? It's a, no, I'm a fire, so I'm going to fight it. It's bullshit. But are you really that pressed over it, it being a meme? or? Are, yes. Why are you because it's my music. Okay, but like, what is there to fight? Like, is he fighting people's opinions? Like, this man is literally fighting with ghosts, boxing with shadows. Because you can't fight someone's opinion. That just doesn't make sense. Like, yes, your song is a meme song. It has become that. You created that. I mean, look at your... I mean, I thought the music video was pretty cool, but there's also a lot of memeable things in that music video, like the weird ice sculpture thing of you that was pretty silly. Of course, that's going to get memes. The lyrics are very memeable. So, of course, that's going to get get memed and not to mention you're very memeable so of course anything that you create especially when it has your face on it your words your voice yes it's gonna get memed it's pretty darn simple so i don't understand like why you can't just accept that i mean aiden ross is telling him to just kind of go with it but he's like i don't want to do that i want to fight this i want everybody to look at my song and be like wow that is a good song like i don't understand why he can't just take his loss and also take his w because uh you guys have any idea how 
how many views that song has on Spotify, on YouTube right now. This man is making money out the wazoo. Last time I checked, I'm pretty sure it had over like 20 million views or something crazy like that. So yeah, you're getting the money back. So you're getting lots of attention on you. Yeah, it's not exactly the most positive, but at least people are just making fun of it. And they're having fun with it. This is what the internet is for. Like you shouldn't take yourself too seriously if you're going to be a presence on the internet. That's a problem that a lot of these influencers fall into is they start taking themselves too seriously. Like they think they're just so important and like everybody's opinion of them is super important. Like they need to uphold this positive persona of themselves when a lot of the times when you do stupid things, when you do irresponsible things, when you do heinous things, when you get involved with some pretty bad people like Mr. Beast, people aren't going to take you seriously. And the more serious you try to act, the more of a joke you actually become. And because this is clearly getting to you on a personal level, like you're actually, this is the fuel that trolls and people that like to make fun of other people on the internet need to really, really bolster their attacks against you. If they can, if they know every time that they troll you that they're going to get a reaction of you, it's going to happen more, especially when you give them such comedy gold like this, where you're literally coping when somebody's giving you valid criticism, like, and even trying to be positive, say like, hey, it's growing on people, but you can't even take that in a positive way. It's like, no, it should have been a banger right from the start. It's so interesting. Like, when are you going to learn to accept reality for what it is? Like, for instance, that you're not on Dan TDM's mind 24 seven, like he is on yours. He doesn't give a shit about you. And I noticed that you made a video that I'm going to talk about in, in the coming days about that. And I will address that because that's another very interesting thing. I don't even know how it keeps coming up. Like it's been weeks or even over a month now, and it's still living in your head rent free. That is bizarre. I was in the, in the studio working on, on beats, working on music, working on lyrics to make sure you you have the best of the best and you release that into the world and people then go, ah, oh, ass, ah, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to die. But by the way, KSI songs playing, let me pause that before I go back to dying again. Like oh, these memes are stupid and it's pissing me off. I'm sorry. And it's annoying, but. I, there's nothing I can do. Uh, the best of the best? Uh, bitch, where? If your song was truly the best of the best and you wouldn't be in this situation, even if people hated you, if you somehow came out with a fucking giga banger, like somebody I used to know, like people would be all over it. They'd be in love with it. They'd be like singing it like crazy. They would be praising you. But that's not what you created. You created this watered down Wake Me Up by Avicii from Timu. Are you, what happened though? So he came at your product and then what? He came, he came at my company and then I came back at him several times and then he just peaced out I acted like nothing ever happened. And you know, fair play, he's posting pictures with his kid about him living life. I'm happy for him. But you know, I'm a fire. So when someone comes at me, I'm going to go at them hard 10 times, 20 times, 30 times harder. I just think it's ridiculous. It's like, bro, no, 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 honestly, it's like a boxing match. It's like me and you going in a boxing match, you calling my mom ugly and fat and then piecing out and going back home. Like, where are you going? Wait, she, huh? he, he called your mom ugly and fat? No, he did not. I'm, I'm giving you just enough. Oh my God. I'm not, it's not for real, bro. Dude, do you have like steroid rage? Like, why are you so mad? Well, first off, this Aiden dude is not buying a single word that KSI is saying. He's just like, uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, right, uh-huh. Bro, why are you so mad? Are you on steroids? Like, what's going on with you? Like, it's so funny. He's like, he's listening, but he's like, also just like, not. Now, I don't know why he compares his quote-unquote beef with Dan TDM as like a boxing match. Uh, no, the guy made one tweet. He wasn't really coming after your company. I mean, I guess he kind of was, but he was just talking about a shitty product that you're putting out and misleading marketing and you read that and you act like it was some kind of personal attack on you which really does say a lot about your character and your ego to the point where you thought that you had to fight back that this was a battle now that he declared war on you but in reality he was just like hey what you're doing is not that cool um you kind of suck for that he didn't even say that he was much nicer he was just like do better because the fact of the matter is like this is a circumstance where you guys really were doing something kind of bad it's one thing to sell a product that's not particularly healthy so many companies do it it's not it's very normal i'm eating fucking twizzlers as we speak but it's different when you try to market it to an impressionable child audience as a healthy alternative to something else that they might eat when it's not when it's just as bad as the competitor and again this isn't really much of a boxing match when 
and the only person you have to fight is yourself because Dan isn't interested in fighting back. There's nothing to fight for. He said his piece and he got out of there. And for some reason, you're still hung up on this. Not everybody is, is entitled. Like, you're not entitled to everybody's responses. You're not entitled to everybody's engagement. Dan clearly wants nothing to do with anything else beyond this. He just wanted to say his piece and move on. I don't understand why you can't. Holy oh, fuck. What you mean? Why am I so mad? Have you seen what I've been going through? Okay, These but past I'm, not, days. I'm not, I'm not, ma I'm not them. It's me happy releasing my music and then I've got people trolling online repeatedly and there's nothing I can do let's, and it pisses me off. So keep the cool. Yo, keep the no, no, I'm sorry. F your, f your shitty audience, bro. They're like, cry, cry. Yo, f all your moms, bro. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't say f the moms. How are you mad that your song is ass, bro? Like. Why are you taking out my chat? No, J JJ, I'm trying to be nice, but no, you, you can't talk to my no, community like that. Bro. Hello there, welcome to the internet. Is this your first day? Yeah, there's a lot of trolling that goes on here. It's not really that big of a deal. It's been happening for 20 years or so now. It's a very, very common thing. Probably one of the first things that you encounter here on the internet. I'm, I'm kind of curious how you've gone this far with not realizing that and not becoming immune to it. Interesting. Anyway, yes, trolling is a central part of being on the internet. It happens constantly. It happens on Facebook, it happens on Instagram, it happens on Twitter, it happens on YouTube, it happens everywhere. Everywhere. It's lit. I don't know how you don't understand that. It's not really something to be upset about. It's something that you just accept and you have uh, enough self control to just not let it affect you, which is what a mature person would do. Now, regarding him getting super upset with uh, Aiden and also his uh, fans because they're spamming like cry and all that and you know, mean trolling things, which he can't stand. W on them, L on KSI. That was hilarious. And then he's like, he's the mom's thing. Thing had me dying. I don't know why he's got to bring people's moms in this. What do people? What do people's moms have to do with this? Your song's already a meme. What do you want to happen now? What is your? What is your? What is I your? I just wanted to stop. I wanted to stop. I want people to stop making fun of my song. For example, Yo, imagine, imagine putting your heart and soul into a project, and then releasing it to the world, and everyone's going, ha ha, ass, trash. <laughs> you suck, bro. Kill yourself. Yeah, they don't, you don't deserve it. Wait, how does your community- how, do you, how does that make you feel? JJ, you've been on the internet for how many years now? I mean, you should be used to that stuff. Yeah, but it's when it's my music, it's personal. Yeah, but what do you- I'm literally making music about my life. Screen to the ring, to the pen, to the king. I'm literally talking about every aspect in my life. And people are making fun of it. Oh, that's what that means. Cause you're, oh. What do you mean? Oh, that's what that was that meant? Either Aiden Ross is totally joking or he is an absolute moron. Yeah, it's pretty simple. The screen, you know, making content and uh, doing his little FIFA streams and stuff like that. To the ring, him boxing, throwing some hands to the pen right in his music. And now he's the king, right? The king of getting fucking clowned on the Internet. But anyway, Aiden's right about one thing, right? It's the. Uh, he said basically what I said was like, how are you not used to this? And he's like, well, I am, but like, it's my music. Like it's personal. Well, there's the thing, dude, no matter what you create on the internet, like you have to detach other people's opinions to some degree. So you don't get your own feelings hurt. Not everybody's going to like or love anything that you put out on the internet. It's just a fact of life. And if you're going to create something that you want it to get positive feedback, you have to make sure that it's really genuinely good if it was then there'd be significantly less hate and less scrolling and less making fun of what you've put out there now i get why you'd be upset about this if i had done that i'm sure i'd also be upset i wouldn't you know take to youtube and stuff and cry about it i'd just cry about it at home and be like huh i shouldn't have done that maybe i should figure out what i can do better so this doesn't happen again and I would take this lesson and learn from it and be a better musician or better content creator, better whatever it is. Like, I have a book, right? I have a book called The Elevator Man. Yeah, shameless plug. You know what? I may as well show it to you guys while I'm here. This is it right here. I wrote it. It's my book. It's available on Amazon. I have a link in my YouTube link section if you're interested in purchasing it. Now, I've gotten quite a bit of feedback from it from a few people that have actually read it, and it's all been positive so far. Maybe it's because I actually put out a good product. But I don't know. Maybe a bunch more of you guys need to buy it and let me know what you think. Maybe it's actually shit like KSI's song. But anyway, that's really all I got for this big man baby clown for today. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Until next time.